ओके गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी रीजन के लिए फ्रॉम मेयर अनवर्स वी आर गोइंग टू टेक ऑनलाइन क्लासेस एज पर आवर थियरी शेड्यूल क्लासेस दैट इज मंडे वेडनेसडे फ्राइडे एंड सैटरडे ओनली वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू टेक ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑन ट्यूसडे एंड फ्राइडे राइट एंड वन मोर थिंग immediately after lifting that uh, lockdown we are going to conduct mcq test tutorials etc every saturday from here onwards after lifting that lockdown period and as soon as you are supposed to submit that uh, assignment questions what you have given already we have given one assignment right we are going to give one more assignment in this week regarding metabolism of amino acids and also we are going to include chemistry of nucleic acids also we are going to finish these topics chemistry of nucleic acids and metabolism of amino acids within this week i am sure that we may need only one class to complete this amino acid metabolism in that class on that is on wednesday we are going to discuss about amino acid ureas in general like phenylketonuria alkaptonuria nsud homocysteine urea all these things we are going to discuss in the next class and i think that is the end of this metabolism of amino acids on that day only we are going to give some assignment questions you are supposed to submit these assignments after immediately after lifting the lock lock period right okay coming to metabolism of amino acids today in this today's class i am going to discuss about metabolism of branched chain amino acids valine leucine and isoleucine are the three branched chain amino acids all the three are neutral essential and aliphatic amino acids valine is purely glucogenic amino acid leucine leucine is purely ketogenic whereas isoleucine is both glucogenic and ketogenic amino acid that means partly glucogenic and partly ketogenic these branched chain amino acids valine leucine and isoleucine plays an important role as an alternative source of energy to the brain during starvation this is the major function of these branched chain amino acids they supply energy to the brain during starvation as you all know these are not synthesized in the body because they are essential amino acids coming to catabolism of amino acids okay this is the very very common five marks question if you don't have time to write in sentence just to write these reactions what i am going to tell now and the one more disorder most probably a three marks question usually they are going to ask that is disorder associated with branched chain amino acid which is nothing but msud maple syrup urine disease okay coming to catabolism of branched chain amino acids just now i told you valine is glucogenic amino acid whereas leucine is keto purely ketogenic isoleucine is both glucogenic and ketogenic amino acids so all the three amino acid there these three reactions are common to all the three amino acids to form acyl coa derivatives these all the three amino acids first they undergo transamination look at the reactions below with the help of an enzyme plp dependent enzyme transaminase to form all corresponding alpha keto acids these keto acids undergo oxidative decarboxylation with the help of an enzyme branched chain alpha keto acid dehydrogenase to form acyl coa derivatives like methyl acrylyl coa beta methyl crotonyl coa and tigyl coa the deficiency of an enzyme branched chain alpha keto acid dehydrogenase 
causes MSUD maple syrup urine disease. The valine undergoes transamination to form alpha keto isovalerate. This alpha keto isovalerate with the help of an enzyme alpha keto dehydrogenase which requires NAD converts to isobutyl CoA. This isobutyl CoA again undergoes dehydrogenation with the help of FAD dependent enzyme methyl acyl CoA dehydrogenase to form methyl acryl, acryl CoA. Similarly, one more ketogenic branch chain keto amino acid, acid that is leucine undergoes transamination to form alpha keto isocaproate. This alpha keto isocaproate undergoes dehydrogenation with the help of NAD dependent alpha keto dehydrogenase to form isovaleryl CoA. This isovaleryl CoA converts to beta methyl crotonyl CoA with the help of FAD dependent alpha methyl acyl CoA dehydrogenase. This isoleucin, which is both leucogenic and ketogenic amino acid, undergoes transamination to form alpha keto beta methyl valerate. This methyl valerate undergoes dehydrogenation with the help of NAD dependent alpha keto dehydrogenase to form alpha methyl butyryl CoA. This alpha beta Butyl CoA formed from isoleucine again undergoes dehydrogenation with the help of FAD dependent alpha methyl acyl CoA dehydrogenase enzyme to form Tegyl CoA. So, these branched chain amino acid finally, all the three valine, leucine, isoleucine converts to acyl CoA derivatives like methyl acrylyl CoA, beta methyl crotonyl CoA and Tiglil CoA coming to further fate of these branched chain amino acids. The acyl CoA thioesters are finally degraded to the valine, finally catabolized to glucogenic end product propionyl CoA, which further converts to succinyl CoA and enters into glucogenic pathway. Whereas leucine is catabolized to glucogenic end product acetyl CoA which finally converts to acetoacetate. Whereas isoleucine which may converts to ketogenic end product, ketogenic end product acetyl CoA and glucogenic end product propionyl CoA through a series of reactions. The methyl acryl CoA formed from valine undergoes dehydrogenation with the help of CoA dehydrogenase to form beta hydroxybutyryl CoA. This beta hydroxybutyryl CoA converts to beta hydroxy isobutyrate with the help of alpha keto dehydrogenase by adding a molecule of water and CoA COA is released. This beta hydroxy isobutyrate undergoes dehydrogenation with the help of NAD dependent beta hydroxybutyrate dehydrogenase to form methyl melonate semi aldehyde. Finally, this methyl melonate semi aldehyde formed from valine converts to glucogenic end product propionyl CoA with the help of methyl melonic dehydrogenase which enters into gluco gluconeogenesis and finally converts to glucose. Coming to leucine, leucine through a series of reactions converts to beta methyl crotonyl CoA and further this beta methyl crotonyl CoA undergoes decarboxylation with the help of an enzyme decarboxylase. Sorry, there is a mistake in that uh, enzyme. It is not carboxylase, it is decarboxylase. Carbon dioxide is removed to form beta methyl glutaconyl CoA. 
this beta methyl glutaconyl coa converts to hmg coa with the help of an enzyme dehydratase by adding a molecule of water and coa is released to form hmg coa this hmg coa converts to ketogenic end product by adding a molecule of water with the help of an enzyme hydratase to form acetyl coa this acetyl coa finally converts to ketone body acetoacetate whereas isolation it is both glucogenic and ketogenic amino acid through a series of reaction first three reactions isolation finally converts to acyl coa derivatives that is tiglil coa this tiglil coa formed from isolation and converts to beta methyl sorry alpha methyl beta hydroxy butanyl coa with the help of an enzyme hydratase this alpha methyl beta hydroxy butanyl coa with the help of nad dependent dehydrogenase enzyme converts to alpha methyl acetoacetyl coa the enzyme acetyl coa acyl transferase by adding a molecule of water converts alpha methyl acetoacetyl coa to propionyl coa which is a glucogenic end product and or it may converts to acetyl coa which enters into keto body metabolism so finally valine converts to glucogenic end product propionyl coa leucine it is purely ketogenic amino acid converts to a glucogenic end product acetyl coa whereas isolation it is both glucogenic and ketogenic end product the glucogenic end product is propionyl coa and ketogenic end product is acetyl coa coming to the disorder associated with that is inherited disorder associated with branched chain amino acids maple syrup urine disease also in, in short it is called as msud it is also called as branched chain ketonuria it is a metabolic disorder associated with branched chain amino acid the urine of affected individuals smells like maple syrup or burnt sugar hence the name msud this msud or maple syrup urine disease he is an autosomal recessive disorder having an incidence of 1 in 1 lakh live births and the disorder starts in the first week of life and 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 msud is due to deficiency of an enzyme branched chain keto acid dehydrogenase which blocks the interconversion interconversion of alpha keto acids to respective acyl coa derivatives some of the clinical important clinical features of msud are there may be vomiting mental retardation is a prominent clinical feature there is an acidosis coma and finally death within one year some of the laboratory findings that means diagnosis of msud includes there is an increased concentration of branched chain amino acids and also increased alpha keto acids in the blood urine contains branched chain keto acids prothyrase test is positive and the screening test for msud is dinitrophenyl hydrogen test which is positive in case of msud this test procedure observation inference we are going to discuss in tomorrow's class that is in borders of metabolism associated with amino acids and one more laboratory finding is assay of enzyme branched chain keto acid dehydrogenase in cells okay coming to treatment restriction of branched chain amino acid in the diet is one of the 
important treatment in MSUD. That means we have to restrict the supply of branched chain amino acid in the diet. And also administration of thymine in high doses is going to be beneficial. And, the, and it also this MSUD also requires hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis. Finally, final treatment of MSUD is liver transplantation. And one more, whatever the amino acid urea, maybe phenylketonary MSUD or homocysteine, etc. All these amino acids are confirmed by doing chromatography. Coming to one, one more important topic in this class is one carbon metabolism. It's a very very common five marks question. I think already we discussed this one carbon metabolism in folic acid vitamin. If not, in brief, one carbon metabolism, the compounds containing only one carbon atom in their structure are called as one carbon compounds or or the groups containing single carbon atom the groups containing single carbon atoms are called as one carbon groups one carbon metabolism includes generation and utilization of one carbon pool one carbon groups formed during amino acid metabolism are formyl CHO, formimino CHNH, methanyl CH, methylene CH2 and methyl. Groups are called as one carbon groups. The vitamin folic acid B12 and methionine plays an important role in one carbon metabolism. These one carbon groups are transferred by tetrahydrofolate which is formed from folic acid. One carbon groups are carried by tetrahydrofolate which is a coenzyme of folic acid are attached either to the nitrogen N5 or N10 or both N5 and N10. The different one carbon derivatives of tetrahydrofolate are N5 methyl tetrahydrofolate, N5 N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate, N5 N10 methanyl tetrahydrofolate, N5 formyl tetrahydrofolate, and N5 formimino tetrahydrofolate. These derivatives of tetrahydrofolate. That means these are interconvertible. Coming to sources of one carbon groups, formate formed in the degradation of glycine and tryptophan reacts with tetrahydrofolate to form N10 formyl tetrahydrofolate. That means formate is formed from glycine and tryptophan and carried with the help of tetrahydrofolate to form. N10 formyl tetrahydrofolate. Similarly, formiminoglutamate formed from degradation of histidine, which, which, which is transferred with the help of tetrahydrofolate, forming N5 formimino tetrahydrofolate, which on releasing ammonia generates N5 N10 methanyl tetrahydrofolate. Serine is the major one carbon source. When serine is converted to glycine, N5, N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate is formed. Methyl groups of choline and betaine react with tetrahydrofolate to form N5 methyl tetrahydrofolate. The active form of methionine, F adenosyl methionine, carries methyl groups and acts as methyl group donor. So finally the sources of one carbon groups are formate which is formed glycine and tryptophan, formiminoglutamate which is formed from histamine and N5, N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate is formed from serine 
N5 methyl tetrahydrofolate is formed from choline and betaine and methyl group is formed from SAM or S adenosyl methionine. These one carbon compounds or one car carbon groups formed from various amino acids. They are utilized for synthesis of number of biologically important compounds. So, coming to utilization of one carbon groups, one carbon groups carried by tetrahydrofolate formed from different amino acids are used for the synthesis of biologically important compounds. Some of the biologically important compounds formed from one carbon groups are formate formed from glycine and tryptophan is used for synthesis of carbon C2 of purine ring and also used for synthesis of formyl methionyl tRNA. The formimino group formed from histidine and figlu is used for synthesis of C8 of purine ring. Methylene formed from serine is used for synthesis of glycine which is used for conversion of DUMP to DTMP. The methyl group formed from choline and betaine is used for synthesis of methionine from homocysteine. SEIM formed from methionine is used for transmethylation reactions like serine to choline, synthesis of creatine, synthesis of epinephrine, etc. So, this is the flowchart of one carbon metabolism which include one carbon donor that means sources of one carbon atom and the carrier of one carbon compound and also utilization of one carbon compounds. This is the summary what I told during in those four or five slides. This is sufficient if you don't have a time to write in detail just to write this flowchart. It is more than sufficient for if it is for five marks. Okay. Okay. The one carbon donors are that is formate one car one carbon compound which is formed from glycine and tryptophan reacts with tetrahydrofolate and it is carried by forming N5, N5 formyl tetrahydrofolate which is used for synthesis of purine. Similarly, figlu formed from histidine reacts with tetrahydrofolate to form N5, N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate which is a one carbon pool. It is also used for synthesis of purine. Serine converts to glycine which reacts with tetrahydrofolate to form N5, N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate. This N5, N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate is used for synthesis of pyrimidine nucleotide that is thymidylate synthesis. N5 methyl tetrahydrofolate formed from choline and betaine is used for synthesis of methionine from homocysteine. The SEAM, s methionine, A1 carbon pool formed from the donor methionine is used for synthesis of choline, creatine, epinephrine, tRNA, DNA, norepinephrine, etc., serotonin, etc. This is all about one carbon metabolism. So almost we are coming to the coming to an end of protein amino acid metabolism or protein metabolism. I think we are going to take one more class. In the next, along with that class on Wednesday we are going to give so many assignment questions. Please write those assignments and come to the college with those assignments. Okay, thank you. In ten